My message is that you, you need to combine the interest in food, energy and water as, as a one nexus. It's, 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 it's water use it's, uh, water use is important for cities and industry, but the biggest user of water in the world, 70% is in agriculture. So if you can do something about agriculture, you can save a lot of water for other things. So that's what, what the message is, basically. We, can, we need to double the food production by 2050 to feed the population. And a lot of people say that will involve doubling the amount of irrigation. We don't have enough water to double the irrigation. So what do we do? Well, we adjust the management of water, use uh, drip irrigation, center pivot irrigation, more efficient use of water, but also more efficient use of fertilizer on land. And so anything you can save on that, that end, and, uh, save on the food losses, and also be, expand your amount of water you have. There's, there's a lot of, Food has a lot of water in, embedded in it. So there's a huge trade in water between countries right now. The United States exports um, 100 billion cubic meters of water a year. Not as water, but as in grain. Well, the technology, the two, two, two important types of technology recently developed. <clears throat> One of them is the drip irrigation, where you, instead of spraying the water on the ground or running water over, you, you put it in little pipes and it goes into the ground directly. It goes, the water goes directly to the root zone of the plant, so there's no waste, no evaporation. Um, the other one is um, big pivots, center pivots, maybe uh, uh, a kilometer wide. And when you fly over the United States, you see on the ground these big circles. And that's a way of doing a larger amount of area with, um, with technology which is controlled by a computer. So I was in uh, Nebraska, I went to uh, a research establishment, and they were running some irrigation works in Spain. So they had a computer set up, they had the maps, on, charts on the wall, maps on the wall, and you could see the, um, they, they, called, they all started operating the irrigation system in Spain. And that was entirely remote. It's, it's, it's just amazing technology. Rwanda is doing well. Which one? Rwanda. Uganda. Yeah. And um, that's uh, doing well because they have decided to go ahead with efficient water use and they're actually buying the center pivot irrigation technology. So that's, uh, I think they're using Chinese, the technology is developed in the United States and in Europe. And the Chinese are now supplying, and I think the Chinese are supplying those things, but they're being managed by Americans. And the, the Rwandans themselves and the Rwandans the government bought, I think, 25 systems. And now the private sector is moving in and buying lots, just because they see the benefits. Um, so that's, that's a good example. Um, I think that um, other countries, even in Nigeria, for instance, in the north, uh, doing rice growing, you know, so, uh, groundwater development, and that's working very well. But that's pockets of it, not, not national.